Hi, I'm Dr. Lacey Rainey, Assistant Superintendent of School Leadership and Academic Programs here in Denton ISD. It is an exciting time to live in North Texas. It absolutely astonishes me that our district is located in one of the fastest growing areas in the state. You can literally feel the growth anytime you are out in our community. Our families choose to move here in record numbers because we know that people bring their families to communities with a strong belief in public education. Denton ISD's enrollment grows each year due to the population increase in our area. We average opening a new school each year to accommodate that growth and ensure that we are best serving our campuses and our families. That means the district facilitates an internal boundary change, also known as rezoning, which may impact existing school attendance boundary changes for schools who have not experienced such a change in a few years. I wanna share with you a few details about our process and then give you the opportunity to give us feedback. When we open a new elementary school, we try to design an attendance boundary that has our elementary students attend campuses that are closest to their homes. However, sometimes that means we have to split neighborhoods due to dense development or a large number of families that reside in a small area. Just know that neighborhood schools for our elementary students is one of our main goals in the rezoning process. When we open a new middle school, we try to keep complete neighborhoods together as much as possible. As students grow and become more involved with extracurricular activities, the shared experience and connections made become even more important. When our district opens a new high school, we prioritize feeder patterns when at all possible, meaning entire groups of middle school students attend the same high school. Again, we prioritize students being able to build and maintain connections with their peers. While sometimes we realize it's not possible, we certainly make every effort. These priorities drive the decisions when we draw the new attendance boundaries. Additionally, we must also consider our building capacity. For reference, on average, elementary schools are designed to serve 750 students middle schools 1,000 students, and high schools serve 2,500 students. This capacity has been determined to be the threshold for the best academic setting for our students. From time to time, we do exceed those numbers due to growth, but we strive to keep schools this size because we know it provides the most opportunities for our students. Now that we've shared the information with you, we would like to gather your thoughts and feedback. Please share your thoughts, feedback, comments and concerns at the link provided to you. And if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.